Do you want to know how to make 336,000 bells in exactly one hour? Stay tuned in this video and I'll show you exactly how I did it. Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be showing you footage of every tarantula I caught after I tore down all the trees, destroyed all the rocks, and dug up all the flowers to force this random island to be a tarantula island. First of all, the reason why I did make 336,000 bells is because Flick was on my island, and if you guys didn't know, Flick buys bugs for 1.5 times their normal rate. Since tarantulas are normally 8,000 bells, whenever you give one to Flick, it's actually 12,000 bells. While I was running around the island and catching all the tarantulas, later I did make one of the tarantula traps. I'm going to be doing a video on that as well to show you guys how to catch tarantulas with basically a 99% catch rate. So if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a like and comment below letting me know that you want the tarantula trap video. Now as I was destroying the island, there was one tarantula that I did catch as I was destroying stuff, I just wasn't filming at that time. And there was one more tarantula that I already had waiting for me so that I could sell to Flick when I got back from the random island. While filming, I encountered a grand total of 35 tarantulas, one of which was on my island when I got back home, 34 were on that island, and I already had one in my inventory. So altogether, that would mean 36. Of those 36, I only missed 9, and like I said before, there was already a tarantula waiting on my island that I had in storage waiting for Flick. Of the 9 tarantulas that I did end up missing, only 3 of them ended up killing me. The other ones either ran off of a cliff, went into the ocean, went into the river, or ran into the lake that was right by the waterfall on this island. You're going to notice that I did catch most of these tarantulas using the trap method. The only ones that I didn't use the trap method on were the ones that were across the river that I had to use the pole vault for, or they were just too far and I wasn't being patient, I just decided to catch it right then and there. I did end up using the trap method to catch quite a bit of the tarantulas. The ones that I didn't catch using the trap method were either across the river where I had to pole vault to, or they were too far away and I was just being impatient. The other ones I would chase and then have them chase me and I'd run back to the trap and trap them and then catch them. I caught a grand total of 12 tarantulas using the trap method. There was only one tarantula that the trap didn't work with and I still caught them. If you use those numbers, that's still 100% catch rate using the trap. It was just I only caught 12 of the 13 within the trap which is 92% but of those 13 I still caught all 13. So you can kind of say this has a 92% uh, catch rate, but overall if you do use the trap correctly, um, it is a 100% catch rate. There was one tarantula in particular that I took especially long to attempt to catch. He ended up going into the ocean after falling off the rock, and the main reason why I took so long, and you're, you're going to see it in the video, is because I wanted to get footage of him looking over the ocean because I wanted to make a short video about it because I thought it would make some funny content or something like that. I ended up making a TikTok for it, so I can link that down below. But by the time I had all the footage that I wanted, I went to go get ready to catch him, but uh, he already walked off into the ocean. After the tarantula walks off the rock and into the ocean, it kind of becomes a small trend because uh, the very next tarantula walks off into the lake. The next tarantula after that kills me, and then the tarantula after that walks off of a cliff. I do hope you enjoy this video. If you have any questions whatsoever, don't be afraid to comment down below and I'm going to help you as best as possible. I'm going to be making another video in the future on exactly how to make these tarantula traps so you can catch them with 100% catch rate. That's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.